What does that make you feel as a father, and, and um, what kind of instincts um, I guess, come, come up when, when you see something like that? Well, I didn't see it until I got here, actually. Um, I did see the, um, you know, I was on the complete opposite end of the floor. Um, I did see um, the referee stop the game or stop the inbounds and, and a cop came up there, but I didn't even know what happened until the video evidence showed me today when I got here. I mean, it's just disrespectful. I mean, um, and it was a little kid too. Um, I don't know how old that little kid was. Um, you know, so I don't know. I don't know if he learned that on his own or he learned that at home or whatever the case may be, but it's, it's disrespectful. Um, I wonder how old that kid is. Uh, you know, if he was the age around Bronny's age or or Bryce's age, and uh, you know, I would like him to see him try that while they're paying attention. Was that how did you? Um, the, a couple of Bronny's teammates, I think, after the game, said that he goes through a lot of things. Sorry. Yeah, he does. And, and does he talk to you about that? Do you, or do you nah, see that? Nah, because he's a he's a cool, calm. He's better than his mom and dad. Let's just say that. <laughs> He is. It's better than his mom and dad for some of the things that he uh, kind of uh, lets off his shoulder. Well, I guess he's taking up for me, too, because I let a lot of shit go, too. But um, he's a great kid, and, and uh, most importantly, he just loves being around his teammates, being a great kid, you know, being a model citizen in the community and playing the game that he loves to play and being a big brother to his brother and sister. Um, but that shit earlier made me mad when I saw that. Um, it's just disrespectful. How do you skip specials?